I couldn't even function hearing that news um, and how dire it was at that point. My name is Erica Herbst. I was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer, stage four, and I was treated at Monmouth Medical Center. Stage four means that the breast cancer has spread to other areas of the body. Um, in my case, it spread to the lymph nodes, the bones, and then they actually found um, some spots on the liver. I had to really rely on the staff at Monmouth Medical Center to pick me up and tell me what I needed to do from that point on. I distinctly remember the day that I first met Erica. She was on the crutches. She had a leg injury and she was recovering from the injury and she felt some soreness in her right breast and she thought it was just because of the crutches. Quickly they got me in for a mammogram and then from there I was diagnosed. I got a call the same day from the radiologist who did her initial mammogram and the biopsy and said that you know you need to see her tomorrow so we immediately uh, made an appointment for her to be seen. As I got to you know the fifth and sixth chemo treatment some people end at that point. Um, I had a discussion with Dr. Megal and I said can't we do seven and eight? Like, I just want to get rid of this. This needs to go away. Ring the bell, girlie. Ring it, ring with me. After the chemotherapy, I had scans and, you know, they were using words like remarkable. And the, the, the cancer really has retreated to a point of remission. Um, not that they use rem the word remission when they talk about stage four, but there is no, there is no active cancer in my body, um, which is truly remarkable. And it's hard to even contain myself when I think about what I was diagnosed with and how alarming it was to even the people that see this stuff day in and day out. She's just recently had a CAT scan which really does not show any active disease in her liver or bones. And really there is no mass that we can feel in the breast either. I'm a single mom to a 13 year old daughter, Alexa. And just knowing that I want to be here for her inspires me. And I think that's why I was able to fight so hard through the chemo treatments and really keep a positive mindset. In addition to the Monmouth Medical Center staff just being absolutely incredible and just being on my team and telling me like, you got this girl, like you can do this. Like this isn't the end for you. Um, it really lifted me up. I've been an athlete my whole life. So I'm always used to teammates pulling me up when I needed it most. And that was Monmouth Medical Center for me.